how to add a watermark in Shotcut just like this. Let's get straight into it. So to start this demonstration, I have created a new project, added two clips into the playlist, and then put them into video track one and use a transition as well. I'm imagining this is my entire video. Yours will obviously be much longer, but for demonstration purposes, this should be absolutely fine. Now a watermark is something that goes on top of your video. So the first thing we need to do is make a new track by clicking on the timeline menu, going to track operations and adding a new video track. That will put a new video track layer at the very top and this is where we want it. If the video track is underneath any of the other video content, then it won't display. So we want the video track or our watermark to be on the very top. Now we need something to use as a watermark. You've got two options here. You can use a logo or something like that as an image, or you can simply write example or something like that as text over the screen. We'll cover both options in turn right now. First of all, we'll look at an image Find the image you want to use and then drag it into your playlist. Once it's in your playlist, put it into your video track two timeline. Make sure the image expands the whole length of your video. Now you can see it's on the screen, but actually it's blocking out most of the content. Click onto video track two. So it's got the red outline. Come up to filters, click on the plus and search for opacity. Click onto the opacity filter and then drag this blue bar down to the level that you think is acceptable for your watermark. Now, when you play through, you'll see that it's there, but actually it's not intruding on the video to completely stop it from working. Now, just before we continue, if we're meeting for the very first time, then my name is Joe and this channel helps YouTubers edit their videos and use free software. If you're creating YouTube videos regularly and not seeing the growth you'd hope for, you're probably missing one or more elements of the video creator framework. You can download the free PDF in the description below to get started. Now, let's get back to the video. You may also want to resize the image. So, so if your image isn't central or maybe it's too big, then you can click on the plus, search for size, click onto the size position and rotate tool. And now you've got the box to be able to resize it as you wish. Let's say you wanted it in the bottom corner. You can just do that. So that's option one. And note that I'm using an image with transparency. What that means is a PNG file and any of the space around the edge is not actually a color. So if you're finding that your image that you're using is a block color, then maybe you're using an extension which doesn't support transparency, or maybe that you've saved your file with a white background or something like that. So it's actually a block color rather than transparent. You can use simple tools to remove the background. Canva is probably one of the best ones that I suggest. I'll leave a link in the description below just in case that's of interest to you. Now option two is to use a simple text over the top of your video. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use another video track. So click onto the timeline menu, track operations, add video track. Now remember, you only need to do one of these. You don't need both of them on your project. To create the text, come up to open other, click onto text, and then type in whatever you want your text to say. I'm going to use example. Just down here, make sure it says transparent. If it doesn't for any reason, then go into your background color and change your alpha level to zero. Now, come on to OK, untick use font size and set your canvas to the full screen. Now, select center and middle, add the work you've just done into the playlist. Now, drag your new file from the playlist into your new video track. Now you can see example fitting over the screen. Drag that all the way to the end of your video and then select on your video track. We want it to be faded out just like the image. So come up to filters, click on plus, type in opacity, select the opacity filter, and then take that down to the level that you think is acceptable. Now, quite often with text, you notice that it's actually at an angle. So if we wanted to angle the text at all, click back on the plus, type in size, use the size, position and rotate filter. And now you can use this toggle here to rotate the text to roughly where you think it's acceptable and where you want it. So now when you play through, 
you can see the example text going all the way through the video. You obviously wouldn't need both watermarks on your channel, although you could if you wanted to by simply doing what I've done here. I would advise, however, only having one or the other methods. And that is how you add a watermark to your project in Shotcut. Please consider liking and subscribing. And before you go, click or tap on the video on your screen right now, and it will continue to help you with Shotcut. I'll see you in the next video.